Axiom Tech. Hello, hello, hello. Jom, jom, jom. Let's set up AIoT. Okay. So, uh, my, my, my name is CC Lee, Exom Tech. Uh, here yeah. today we are Ganyong. Uh, Ganyong. Okay. Uh, today I wake up in the morning. I thought today is a Monday. Yeah. Because yesterday is a Hari Raya Haji. <laughs> So selamat hari raya Haji ya. Ah. So for some of you who is uh, still watching in Malaysia, so uh, good afternoon, you know, and good morning, and also good evening. If let's say you watch us in other part of the world, yeah. So me and Ken Leong here today. Uh, we are going to talk about this uh, AIoT, uh, Bisembang AIoT. Uh, two days ago, we had a uh, autonomous mobile robot web miner. I don't know whether you are. Uh, you were following at that time um, we have um, uh, quite a good response there you know when talking about how to build the uh, autonomous mobile robot the amr yeah that's one part yeah so that is a uh, pass that's already passed yeah so today i we want to share something about again you know, you it won't run away from this uh, ai and iot uh something uh, special today i think you won't be able to watch it anywhere right now i think yeah later part can is going to do some demonstration also to you on one of the uh the ai model yeah so in fact uh, when we are talking about iot way back in um 1991 when i was doing my uh, final year project in the college so I, I was trying to find out those uh, uh, material again, you know, but I couldn't, uh, even my, my thesis also uh, gone, don't know where. <laughs> so that time we were talking about 1991. Uh, 1991 is about what? 1991 is about 30 year, 32 years 30 ago. Years. 32 years ago, uh, 32 years ago. Uh, my final year project is, uh, uh, it's something to do with this uh, radio communication. Yeah, radio communication. So, uh, how to do radio communication? Of course, 
during that time the, the digital uh, digitalization start to you start to sniff something about digitalization yeah maybe uh, those things is not still not even Microsoft Windows uh, 3.2.0 2.0 just started to 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 we, we start to start to have a Windows you know uh, during that that period yeah so we have I think I set up um, uh, if you still remember those of you are you know old enough like me <laughs> So you, we, we practically we have a, a Motorola microprocessor, you know, six eight zero nine or sixty eight thousand that kind of a microprocessor that we are talking about. Yeah, uh, yeah, we have a two two uh, microprocessor, and then in between uh, on the wireless part, uh, the resources is very limited at the time in the college. We have a, a basically we have a, this a training kit for AM radio, AM radio, yeah. So uh, that idea came actually when we discussing uh, we were discussing with our, our principal lecture, lecturer. Uh, so uh, we want to do something on the radio communication at the time thirty two years ago. Uh. So uh, we set up both microprocessor sitting, and then we are feeding this uh, data onto the training kit, the, the AM radio training kit. You imagine how 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 would you know. Uh, one side transmitting and the other side. Do you think you still you are able to receive? Can you think you can receive? No. <laughs> okay, let also don't believe you can you can receive. Yeah. So uh, that part. Uh, uh, just I just want to tell you the outcome. The outcome is positive. Okay, so it's successful. Um, in the way uh, we are feeding just a. Um, hello world kind of thing you know when we are writing the, the those code in uh, this uh, uh assembly language and then trying to transmit and then feed the data uh we feed the data we use the io only you know we are not using any serial port you know you have rs 2 3 to know you know we are just feeding the uh data uh, uh this uh, data bit only here across asynchronously yeah asynchronously we pump it through and then over the other side we were having hard time to get the data <laughs> actually at the receiving part actually but finally we got it yeah finally we got it i think it we spent about one week time to, to figure this thing out why why is it not and then of course with the help of oscilloscope you know those of you who, who are in the electronics you know, we have oscilloscope we tap all the signal we have to see the waveform yeah as you know uh, if you study the digital electronics before a step response is actually consists of infinite frequency yeah so when you are putting a data one or zero into an am radio transmitter so basically a lot of uh, you know a lot of information a lot of this uh, frequency component is missing yeah that's why it become very noisy uh, of course you know am radio is very noisy so sometimes you got interference you are not able to get through yeah but we managed to get this one through you know onto the am radio at a time you know data is successfully transmitted yeah <laughs> but it's just a string you know uh able to prompt onto the another pc yeah we, we, we tap onto the uh, so that uh, uh did that is the uh, 32 years ago in fact uh in the thesis we also wrote uh i also wrote about you know how Hey, they all these things uh, can can you you are able to use this uh, radio technology in fact you can you know you can transmit it and also you can store it in some some places you know that's actually uh it's very popular a cloud or, or 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 network attached storage is all based on this concept yeah <laughs> so uh during that time is that thing so what i want to bring out this one is because uh, when we talk about iot you know uh last week i think we talked about m to m machine to machine mm -hmm. yeah that is actually 32 years ago we trying to materialize how this uh, m to m is working yeah so through a radio communication so um that's why in iot we cannot run away from the um what they call the uh, m to m uh, radio communication so basically if we talk about uh, radio communication in iot there are three very special things coming up you know uh about few maybe five five six years ago you know or, or, or maybe longer yeah so one of them is laura wen yeah laura wen i think some of you who is following uh 
in the past three or four years, we have been talking about this LoRaWAN. We have this unit. That's why I, I put up this unit here. <laughs> this is one of the LoRa gateway, you know, at the time 2018 or 2017. A very high antenna. Of course, you know the LoRaWAN is a low power, a long range, wide area network. Yeah, uh, that's called LoRaWAN. Um, and then the other, the other type of uh, wireless uh, topology or, or wireless method is called Sigfox, yeah, Sigfox. And the uh, third one is the uh, NB-IoT. I'm just talking about these three very uh, uh, unique kind of uh, radio communication because all of them are in the low power, running on the low power. Yeah. So I'm not talking about those Wi-Fi, uh, uh, Zigbee or those. You, it can be used in the IoT ecosystem, of course, but then we are talking about low power, long range kind of transmitter. Uh, you can have a uh, LoRaWAN, uh, Sigfox, and also the uh, 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 NB-IoT. Of course, there are pro and con in between these three. So when you talk about IoT implementation, you know, these are the consideration that you need to put into uh, into it yeah so uh i just want to uh, highlight to you uh, this is one of the uh, uh, can you see this one clearly yeah this is one of the sigfox module uh in 2017 you know we have this one we do some experiment uh, during the time because sigfox depending on uh, the subscription you know you need to subscribe to a, a wide array network you know, low power wire network that is able to, to facilitate you to, to, to they need to have a station around your cities yeah, in order to, 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 to capture the signal. This is a sick box. And then this part is an IoT. Yeah. This is a LoRaWAN uh, uh, sensors. Yeah. So LoRaWAN sensor. So this is uh, one of the smoke detector. Uh, smoke detector. So of course you can, uh, LoRaWAN and sick box, they can travel very far. You know why? Because uh, when you talk about, uh, let's say we are talking about Wi-Fi. Yeah. Usually Wi-Fi, we are running on what? 2.4G. on 2.4G. And then some run on 5G. So when the, freak, the higher the frequency, the penetration is becoming uh, weaker or, or lower. Yeah. So this kind of LoRaWAN or, or Sigfox, they are running on the range, uh, frequency range from uh, 800 over to 900 over megahertz. Yeah. So that is you know, much lower. So the penetration is very good. So that's why you can even when you have a high tower up, you can receive practically, you can receive data from the Sigfox or LoRa uh, 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 transmitter, transmitting over maybe 10 kilometers away. So until now, we are still having this kind of uh, application, of course, uh, with our customers, with our partners, they, they use. Um, one of them is a LoRaWAN uh, trans, uh, trans, transceiver. Yeah, transceiver. So that one, you can go up to uh, uh, one to two kilometer away. Yeah, that is talking about transceiver. So uh, why I want to bring these two up is because a lot of IoT, this is related to your sensors. For example, you have a roadside uh, a pump or, or flow you want to detect or you want to capture. Yeah. So, uh, of course, on the LoRa or Sigfox, they are actually programmed to send in the time interval. You know, so you cannot, it's not like, you know, you can keep on pulling them, you know, uh, talking to them, you know, then the, the, the battery will going to drain out very fast. Because that they they actually designed to operate in a very low power and a battery mode environment, which can last you for maybe two three years kind of thing. Yeah. So it has to be programmed hourly or sometime two hourly or something like that. Yeah. To, to transmit up the data. So um, that's why in between this LoRa, you can set up your own network. Yeah. LoRa, you can set up your own network. Where else in Sigfox you only able to rely on those people who offer the, 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 the where you can subscribe. You know, they, 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 they will set up your network, then you pretty, uh, you, you, you can't do anything. You know, you just take care of your data. They will do your network for you. For you. Yeah, this is a uh, Sigfox and LoRaWAN. Right? LoRaWAN, you can uh, set up your own station, just like what 
we have here, you know, you can plug this one, you know, on top, on a rooftop, rooftop, then you can practically receiving those uh, LoRa nodes, we call it, you know, from the other side. So, of course, uh, during that time, we were using our IoT gateway. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, usually we use this one for our uh, training purpose. Yeah, we have this uh, LoRa uh, module inside during that time. But right now, actually, we, has, uh, we have uh, a discontinued that part because the, the module is, uh, has gone into the EOL already. Yeah. So this is basically right now is running on the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So um, of course, in the Wi-Fi, in this uh, wireless uh, IoT, uh, I will leave some uh, room in the next session. We talk about maybe MB IoT, uh, Zigbee, and also Wi-Fi. How can you use in the uh, IoT network? Yeah. That part, I think, um, yeah, we will talk about uh, more in, in the next session. Yeah, by the way, if you're watching this uh, session, uh, this is, um, uh, can you say, uh, uh, you know, what, what's, what's this uh, uh, channel? This is uh, John Les Senbang AIoT. <laughs> Senbang, 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 uh, you know, uh, in Chinese, uh, you say Sen, Sen, Sen is like, you know, something like talk big, uh, talk big to the, uh, Bang, Bang is a, uh, is a, uh, is a, uh, uh, what is it called? It's a it's a it's a, it's a nyamo, 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 what is that? It's a mosquito. You know, you 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 send bang with the mosquito something like that. Yeah. So this is a challenge. But if you are watching us, uh, if you have any comment, uh, you may want to put this one up later on. We are going to show you some exciting uh, uh, AI uh, thing uh, here. So um, you know, when we talk about, uh, of course. Um, I just want to ask a question, maybe if your, you guys are watching, uh, which IoT is more important or AI is more important? Yeah, anyone? So basically, <laughs> AI and IoT, both of them are equally important. If you have uh, uh, followed in my the very first uh, session, we were talking about IOT, AIOT, why AI, why IOT, you know, uh, why we, 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 we uh, how, how does in this, how, how do the, the thing uh, work together? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we, we have uh, one follow from Joey. Yeah. Hi, hi, Joey. <laughs> thank you very much for, for following us. So, um, I will just want to ask about, uh, you know, so of course we have been showing some AI uh, application using the uh, our TV board, you know, we do that one is we call it under um, is it object detection or classification or a separate model? This one is a special model. Right? Yeah, that one is a special model. Right? Special model when we do the this uh, in non intrusive meter reading, mm -hmm. uh, non intrusive meter reading, you know, we, we are we are we are able to capture the uh, a meter or gauge yeah yesterday yesterday uh, the other day i tried to send a whatsapp to you you remember i went to a site there are a lot of gauges you know oh yeah <laughs> i'm trying to find out how you you know we can i think we can do it uh. last time you also did before now Kenel has done uh, quite a deep uh, ai modeling on this area before that's why if let's say you are interested or you have some application into that maybe you can uh, contact us you know we are able to evaluate together with you maybe you have customers who need this kind of uh, application yeah so um talking about that maybe can you can you you want to talk about more about uh today's uh, uh, ai model again or, or how does it different from the previous ah, okay sure so since today our topic is on the unsupervised deep learning ai mm. Okay, previously, uh, for the Kiwi board or other AI model that I presented before, it's more on the supervised deep learning AI. So what is the difference between supervised deep learning and unsupervised deep learning? So the supervised deep learning require you to provide the labels on, the, on your data set, which means, uh, for example, today we want to use the AI to differentiate between a uh, 
uh, we have a set of image that contain the cat and the dog. So if we are using the supervised deep learning to differentiate them, so we need to put the labels on the image so that the AI know what is the content inside the image. So during the learning process, the AI will uh, compare its own prediction with our labels so that if the results are different, then it will update itself uh, through their own algorithm. But this is, uh, okay, by using the supervised deep learning, this is the advantages. We can control how the AI do the learning. Okay, but there is a disadvantage also. So if let's say you have a really large data set, mm. every image you need to label 10 objects inside the image. And then your data set is 1,000 images. Then you need to label for 10,000 objects. So to finish this 10,000 objects, if let's say if you can draw a bounding box, you draw a label within one second. So I believe if you are working for eight hours per day, then at least two days to finish this uh, <laughs> labeling the, this data set. Okay. So this process is very time consuming. So that's why for today's session, we talk about the unsupervised deep learning. Mm -hmm. So the advantages of the unsupervised deep learning is you no longer need to draw the label anymore. But there is some um, disadvantages also. It's very hard to control the outcome of the AI model mm. uh, because you cannot tell the AI which one is cat, which one is dog anymore. So you just throw everything, the image that contains cat and dog together, let the AI to differentiate by itself. Mm. But, but for today's demo, we've modified the unsupervised learning, the way it learned a bit. So, uh, Besides, we straight away throw everything to the model. Actually, we today we are doing the abnormality detection. Mm. So we want to identify which product is good, which product is bad. Mm. So to train the unsupervised learning model, so we will just use the good sample to do the training. And then the model has the ability to identify the bad sample after the training finished. So during the entire training process, we didn't expose any bad sample to the unsupervised deep learning model and be able to detect the bad sample. So this is the something very special that uh, something that is not achievable before. Yeah. So you know, I just want to ask, I have one question here. You see, uh, chat GPT is becoming like uh, uh, everywhere, you know. So every day I watch a video, everybody is talking about chat, chat GPT. <laughs> so, uh, uh, just for your information, over here, our AI modeling are basically uh, surrounding uh, within the uh, vision kind of application, yeah, vision inspection, uh, vision AI kind of uh, area. Of course, uh, in the past uh, few days, we done some data analytic kind of AI, yeah, that, that part also uh, we are able to achieve that using even a tiny uh, module. So uh, just for a concept, just as a concept, because a lot of people, a lot of people using ChatGPT, you know, uh, because they, they, they actually didn't realize, you know, what at the back thing is doing. Yeah. So maybe you know, can you can you also uh, try to relate, you know, uh, uh, for this kind of uh, AI learning and uh, ChatGPT, you know, what what is the uh, differences, what are similarity and things like that. Uh, so the, for the similarity is uh, ChatGPT is using the deep learning, mm -hmm. but it's not under the vision category. Okay. It's considered as a language model. Mm -hmm. So it's something that they decide it is for, uh, is to interact with the human. So it's to replace the chat box mm -hmm. so that uh, most of the time when we visit some web website, when we talk to the using their chat, and then they will, they will have a robot respond to you. And most of the time, the answer is not what we want. Mm. Uh, but chat DVD is doing differently. So if let's say today you have your you, you have your own product you want to sell, and then you want to provide support to your customer, then you can use this chat DVD. Actually, you can train the chat DVD. 
part in it. That one is the subscription that you need to pay to the open AI. Mm. And you can fit in all your product data, data sheet to the chat GPT mm. and train it. Then that model, chat GPT model, will only familiar with your own product on it. Mm. Uh, so, and then when you deploy this model on your website, uh, and then when customer approach to it, be able to give the correct answer to your customer. Mm. It's not like the previous chatbots anymore. Okay. So in a way, uh, ChatGPT is also a kind of deep learning mm. also at the back. Yes, it's a kind yeah. of deep learning. It's, it's, it's basically a deep learning. So whatever thing the, that we do, uh, over here is also, today, uh, Galen was going to show you this part, also a deep learning, right? Yes. It's a deep learning. Uh, but it's having a diff, it's doing it in a very different model. So yeah, so yeah, we have a one question. Uh, uh, thanks, thanks, Joey. Yeah, <laughs> ChatGPT version four is very powerful. Yeah, 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 very powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very powerful. So, mm, correct, correct. Thanks for 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 uh, giving an, uh, 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 this comment to us. Okay, uh, you know, can can we? Uh, you want to show something here or oh, now? How? Uh, yeah. Now I will show you a video. Ah, okay. how our uh, unsupervised deep learning software is working. Mm. By the way, uh, by the way, I see, uh, every time when we do a, 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 every time we do a live here, we have a lot of things lining up, you know. Just now we even have a big monitor here, mm. you know, we, we just put it away. We just like, like what? Uh? Like we are doing the uh, lelong like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, you know, can, can we, you, 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 can, you can explain and then also we can start also anytime. Yeah, so for today, unsupervised deep learning demo, we have a camera here. Mm. So the camera is looking at our, this one is our business card. So we want to detect, is there any anomaly on the business card or not? So some of the business card, we found that there are some defects, there are some scratches, but there's a hole for it. So now we start playing the video so that you can have more understanding on how our software is running. Yeah. Uh, just to add a little bit, uh, previously this model we used to do some uh, PCB, you know, the, the PCB board checking. Yeah. So, you know, for, for this session, we just want to make it simple, uh, make yeah. it simple. maybe use a, a business card. You know. mm -hmm. and of course, if you want to relate this business card to the actual application, you know, you can, and it's, this one is very practical for printing. So abnormally detection in the printing, you know, some flaw you cannot, you cannot accept, you know, those things can be uh, done using this car model. Yeah. So, okay. Again, uh, th thank you. Uh, big data, deep learning, your product is something called imaging. Pro imaging processing is correct thing to, ah, to yeah. say. Lah, huh? But imaging in this uh, AI vision is called uh, image processing with AI. Lah, huh? With AI. Mm. Hey, just before I forget, uh, uh, you know, uh, in fact, chat GPT also is a kind of uh, unsupervised learning, learning. Can I say? Uh, this one, I was, I'm not very really sure. This one. Maybe okay. if it's a mixture, uh, is there, there can be a mixture uh, because mm. you know, it can be a uh, in between the supervised. Yeah. It's something we call the maybe if you have some supervised uh, some idea in this one, maybe you also you can give us a comment. Uh. Okay, you know, we, we, we will just uh, continue. Yeah, we will start playing the video. We are going to play a video yeah. for you, yeah. Card on the predefined area. Can you hear? Then we click the new dataset button and enter card 3 as the dataset name. Yeah, so in this process, we are going to create a dataset. After you clicked OK, the card 3 folder will be created with 4 subfolders inside. Click the drop down and select train. Then open the train folder to see the images that were so saved after we, we click the capture the button. Data set for the training data set. Continue capturing the images for all the good samples that will be used for training process. So after capturing the images for train folder, now we click the drop down and select good underscore test. Then open the good underscore test folder to see the images that were saved after we click the capture button. Continue capturing images for all the good samples that will be used for validation process. After capturing the images for good underscore test folder, 
we click the drop down and select defective underscore test. Then open the defective underscore test folder to see the images that were saved after we click the capture button. Yeah, now we put some bad sample and then we collect the image. Continue capturing the images for all the bad samples that will be used for validation process. For the defective underscore ground underscore truth folder, you can so use any open source labeling are... tool to create the mask for the bad samples. Oh, we do some verification here. Right? Uh, yeah, Select STFPM model and card three dataset to training. So there are a lot of models in this software. We select the STFPM model. Click the start training button and wait for the training to finish. After the training process completes, switch to inference tab and select the model slash dataset. Click the start button and put the card on the predefined area to view the inference result. There is a hole on the card and AI is able to detect it. Whereas if we test with a good sample, and AI won't show any red line. Yeah, this one is a good sample. The drawback of this uh, model is uh, the drawback of this application. Here, is you need there are some stains on the card, and AI is able to detect yeah, the, it. Very precise place, lah. Uh, yeah. The positioning, positioning, the positioning is very important. Yeah. As indicated by I, this card contains multiple scratches and stains on the QR card and the smart word. Uh, you can see the Lee here. There, uh, the one I wrote on. Uh. <laughs> the star also, I I, I draw. <laughs> Okay. So that was the recorded uh, 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 process. Uh, we can also do live here, yeah, right? Yeah, we can do live. Okay, here. okay, maybe because maybe we maybe. Really prepare everything here. Uh, yeah, we, we just do a live one. How are we going to step this this part to to the audience? Uh, we will share the screen of this camera view. Mm. Yeah, uh, what Joey said is correct. You know, uh, more data, picture actually provide more more accurate uh, result. Lah. Yeah, that is uh, one thing. So we started our uh, this uh, lighting. Ah, this is a, a correct one. Can I have a pen? Mm. Ah, okay. So this one is the one we have a hole on the card. You see, when my finger entering a camera view, it detect my finger as an abnormal object. Right. So for this case, uh, let's say I'm okay. I, I'm I'm doing some some experiment here, uh. So I'm actually writing here. I'm writing another uh, Lee here. So I put I put back in. The, can you put back that uh, the position? Yeah, you can see here you you is able to is able to identify what I have uh, put in just now. Oh, in here. Yeah, in here. So in this model, this kind of model, you know, the the the, the uh, of course for this kind of application, it's good that you do not need to always. Uh, uh, we do not need to always tell the AI model, you know, which one, you know, we have this different, different kind of effect, correct? Right? This is for some pattern or some abnormally, yes. basically it's an abnormally uh, detection. And because uh, in, usually in your, in the production line, sometimes the bad sample is seldom to occur. But when it occur, it gives you a big trouble. Mm. And it's, it's very hard to collect this kind of bad sample. So in this, um, supervised deep learning training, we only provide a good sample because good sample is very easy to get. We've got a lot of good sample, but not all the good sample they are not identical. Some of the good sample they might have some slightly different in color or slightly different in shape, 
Mm. But that one is still considered as a good sample. Yeah. Right. yeah. So we train the unsupervised model with a good sample. Yeah. So we put in another, uh, this one, I don't know whether uh, got this one is a good one. Is it a good one? Have some flaw, I saw. Yeah, this, this one is, this yeah, one is, this one is a good this, one. This one. Why we use the business card also because uh, just by coincidence, uh, not to not to do promotion here. Uh, you can, of course, you can scan the QR code and then you can go to our web website. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just by coincidence, we, we use this uh, 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 business card as uh, one of our things. Yeah, you want to find out more, please scan the QR code, then you can see our website <laughs> for some time. Yeah, basically, I just want to highlight, say we are talking about, see, in our, my, my, the, 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 the name card here uh, can we can we blow the the, the, the yeah, our business card see we are uh, uh, empowering aiot innovation mm -hmm. <laughs> basically exon tech is one of the uh, world leading design manufacturer uh, located in taipei uh, in taiwan uh, over here malaysia exon tech malaysia we are doing more on the uh, uh, solution application solution to our customers our customers are mainly a system integrator a project house who deploy some of our industrial computing product into some of the projects yeah so this is basically what we are doing yeah so uh, that's why uh, in this man in this area we have uh, we we got a lot of gachang you know <laughs> you know gachang gachang I, I don't know you know if, uh, this is Cantonese uh, gachang we have a lot of this uh, uh, we uh, we weapon <laughs> <laughs> so if you are able to use some of this one, you know, to work out a good project, you know, in your project, that is yeah, fantastic. Uh, it's something that we want to we want to achieve. Yeah. So talking about the are we finished with this one? Uh, you know? Yeah. Oh, we basically we finished already. So uh, you can see this kind of uh, application can be used in many areas. For example, especially manufacturing lah. PCB is also one of them. Yes. Yeah, we have done some uh, PCB sorting all those things. Uh, uh, so some uh, uh, demonstration actually we did for a, a proof of concept, a basic proof of concept. And then uh, for those people who are in the government uh, industry, government meaning I'm not not the government uh, government those uh, clothing uh, manufacturing. You know, you usually you have a lot of these are uh, different different pattern for your production. You know, if you you want to make sure hundred percent, you know, no flaw in those. Uh, uh, what we call some some uh, uh, sometimes you know in on a cloth you have some some uh, need and uh, those are sewing not not very proper you know color out you know, those kind of things very good you know? so you don't need to waste your operator uh, eyesight to do you know to do that part I think this model is very very good for that in fact uh, right now here we are running on one of the are we running on GPU here of course we do the training we use gpu right yes training oh. on gpu gpu but for this inferencing we practically do not use any gpu that's why in the implementation you can deploy this one with a tiny box even like that yeah maybe not this processor lah. we have some similar box uh, like that uh you can deploy using the uh, mod model itself you know you can run the inferencing without uh having a big gpu yeah that is very low power count for uh, of course, you know when the power goes lower, the reliability go higher. Yeah, that is one of the reason uh, we are very uh, passionate about. You know, uh, doing a good, good uh, AI application uh, into that. Yeah. So uh, that part is done. Uh, just for your example, uh, just for your information, um, if you have seen our this uh, Telegram. Uh, uh, QR code, you, know, you, you can follow us on the Telegram QR code. Uh, from there, you can join us. You know, is there is some upcoming event, then you can you can uh, follow us. By the way, I just want to inform you about this. Uh, me and Ken Long, both of us are HRDF accredited uh, uh, trainer. We are actually providing training also. You know, uh, from I think we 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 we, we, we do both IoT and AI. And then we have one program called AIoT Awareness Program in the, uh, actually we targeted those manufacturing, uh, for manufacturing, uh, for smart manufacturing. But uh, for you, if let's say you want to learn also uh, good actually, you know why? Uh, right now, we, everybody is talking about ChatGPT. 
Now, you just merely use, you know, but if you can get to know the big basic fundamental at the back in order to do this one, you will be, you'll be more, uh, what they call, uh, you'll be more mindful lah, in terms of using this chat GPT rather than uh, simply, you know, uh, uh, trust this part, you know. That's why this IoT AI awareness program uh, we offer to you, uh, you know, if you are interested, you can join us. This is one day program, uh, morning session, we talk about IoT, how you can make use of this IoT, uh, capturing data from the sensors, and then also publishing to the cloud. Uh, at the same time, also in the afternoon session, uh, we have this uh, AI modeling, how you build a model, you know, you don't need to do bring any equipment here. This is just one day awareness uh, training program. You can scan the QR code. You can find out more detail. You know, if you are interested, you can, uh, you know, you can contact with us. Yeah. So basically we have some of this set up like that, you know, IoT gateway that already set up. Then we have a real hands on. We are not just purely talking, talking only. Uh. <laughs> we are not talking, we, 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 we get you into a hands on, uh, practical training to get a result uh, the whole one day training is uh, for that you, know, you can you can join so for that i think uh, we uh, that's it uh, for today uh, thank you for, for 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 watching and then i probably you know we will see you in the next session every friday thursday or friday lah, huh? because we are <laughs> We are not uh, full time doing this uh, YouTube, uh, but then uh, we do have. Uh, uh, we we want to keep a pace where we can give you more uh, idea, value, how to do things with technology like AI, IoT, plus the past one we do on a, a robot uh, in the robotic. So with that, I think uh, for today, I want to just uh, uh, say uh, thank you for watching again, and we will see you in the next session. Okay, bye-bye.